Peterson, our big story right now at 10. Local 15 News has learned the federal government is responsible for killing hundreds of thousands of red snapper each and every year. This is the feds try to shorten the red snapper season and reduce the number of fish caught. It's an un undercover video you'll only see right here on Local 15. Howard John Zanitas has been investigating and took this video to the heart of the debate. Well, John, it's really churning up the waters. Well, really is, Tim. These are federally mandated demolitions of old abandoned oil and gas rigs. They blow up about three a week in the Gulf, but they're destroying a lot more than just the rigs. Good Lord. Yeah. Show it to a scientist. So as a scientist, I think it's abominable. Show it to a charter boat captain. It's, it's a cry and shame. Thousands of pounds of dead red snapper. You may be surprised to find out who's sanctioning the killing. And the federal government's the ones that are doing this. It's a federal mandate to get rid of old abandoned rigs in the Gulf of Mexico. But this is happening all the time. It's happening over and over again. The rigs are an eyesore, but underneath the surface, coral habitats that have been growing for decades. Not only are we killing a lot of snapper, but we also destroying their habitat. Local 15 uncovered this video from one of the demolitions, showing the aftermath. We're talking about the most valuable fish species in the Gulf of Mexico. After just this one demolition, an estimated 10,000 pounds of dead fish, mostly red snapper. That's a year's salary for a lot of people, and that's just going to waste. At the same time, the feds have been protecting red snapper from overfishing, cutting the season shorter and shorter, and putting strict limits on the amount anglers can catch. Don't fish the red snapper, yet they have this mandate that's blowing them up. It's a hypocritical statement. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's just our government. Captain Jason Domain used to work on rigs himself. It's not the first time he's seen these demolitions, but it's the first time he's seen it captured on video. And a lot of it was hush hush, unsaid, and unseen. Like this is the first video that's being produced. Hopefully it shines a lot of light. Now we will keep digging into this story. The Coastal Conservation Association has told us they want a copy of this video. Right now there's a lot of effort on Capitol Hill to stop these demolitions in the Gulf. Kim? John, great story. Thanks a lot. Oh, former